It's supposed to be a dry clutch. I wonder why there's a cap right here that says oil next to it. I don't know, man. The guy in the comments said it's a dry clutch. I don't know, man. I mean, if this guy says it's a dry clutch, it's gotta be a dry clutch, right? We'll see, I'm rooting for him. I'm really rooting for him. That'd be great if it's a dry clutch. That's a, that makes it easier to service. I'm rooting for you, man. I mean, you were certain. You were really certain on this one. So let's, let's take a look. I'm supposed to remove this bolt first. I wonder what, ah, what is all that coming out of there? What is all of that leaking out of this dry clutch? Oh no, this can't be good. Oh no, yeah, oh. I must have straight up just liquefied the clutch when I was going up that, that two foot hill, which doesn't compare at all to the thousands of miles of hills that I used to actually ride this on when it was my daily freaking driver. I'm trusting that, man, I just liquefied my clutch. That's, that's gotta be the problem. All right, let's, let's dig deeper. All right, let's remove these screws so we can get this dry clutch cover off, see how dry the clutch is. Moving the dry clutch cover. Make sure everything's nice and dry. Ah, oh, why is there so much oil in here? Ah, oh, the clutch pads must be, ah! Oh, what? The, the clutch pads look the same as they did 10 years ago? What? The clutch is still wet? It's not liquefied? You mean this is a wet clutch? Aw oh, man, I had faith in you! Man. It's the first time in history that the YouTube comments have been wrong. It hurts. I'm dying. Uh, the world is no longer what I thought it was. Uh.